The issue of how the universe came into being has always been one of the issues that scientists wondered about and discussed most. Many theories were put forward regarding the issue throughout history. Each theory was refuted in the course of time as science advanced and they were labeled as wrong. The theory that is agreed on and is widely accepted today is the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang is a cosmological model claiming that the universe came into being 13.7 billion years ago from an excessively intense and hot point. It was first put forward in 1920 by Russian cosmologist and mathematician Alexander Friedman and Belgian physicist Georgius Lemaitre. This theory, which assumes that the universe had a beginning, has widely been accepted by scientists, especially by physicists, because it is supported by various evidence. According to the Big Bang model, the universe was in a very intense and hot state in its first phase before expansion. That is, the universe was all in one piece. Then it was separated into pieces to take its current shape with a big explosion called the Big Bang. This knowledge, which scientists were able to obtain only within the 19th century, was informed by the Quran 1400 years ago. The following is stated in verse 30 of the chapter of Al-Anbiya. Do, Do not the unbelievers see, see that the that heavens, heavens and the and earth the were earth joined, joined together, together as one as unit one of, creation. of creation? Before, Before we clove them, them asunder, asunder. asunder. We made, we made from water, from water every, every living, living thing. thing. Will they, Will not, they not then believe? believe? The word translated as joined together in the verse is the Arabic word ratk. It means fused, coherent, inseparable. That is, this word is used in order to describe two substances that form a whole in Arabic. The verb fatk, used in the verse, means to separate. In Arabic, this verb is used in the sense of splitting something that is adjacent and coming out by breaking something. For instance, this verb is used when a seed sprouts and comes out of the ground in Arabic. Now, let us go back to the verse. In the verse, a situation in which two things are joined together, ratk, is mentioned. Then they are separated, fatk. That is, one of them comes out by tearing the other one. When we think of the first moment of the Big Bang, we see that the whole matter of the universe was together in one substance. In other words, everything even the skies and the earth that had not been created yet was within the same substance, interbeated, ratk, and inseparable. That is, they were joined together as it is stated in the verse. Then this substance broke into pieces through a big explosion. That is, the deed that the Quran defines as fatk took place. The Quran informs us about the Big Bang Theory, which was discovered in the last century, more than 1,400 years ago. Anyone who thinks impartially and justly will accept this. A human being who could not read or write could not have discovered this fact 1,400 years ago. Can a human being have discovered a fact on his own 1400 years ago that scientists discovered only 100 years ago? Since it is impossible, there is only one alternative left. 
The book that mentions this fact is the Book of Allah. Who collected the whole realms in one substance and who created the earth, the sky, and everything within them through a big bang after that? Yes, the Quran is the pre-eternal book of that being. We believe in it.